here for some ticket tokens? Yes, please. Awesome. It's one dollar for one, five dollars for six, and ten dollars for twelve. We have postcards for sale. If you're interested in any, they're just one token each. Voidsec, and you can meet him right here next to me. Good. Welcome to our show. Oh, you look awfully warm in that in that coat. It's pretty chilly here. Um, can only really afford the bare minimums. Uh, listen, uh, I've got a little girl. She's really cute. Actually, that's my mother over there. And um, I'm doing this whole starving act so I can put some food on the table for her. And uh, so if you've got maybe a penny or dime, really anything helps. I would love to, but I actually do. Oh. Oh, that's that's all. It's all part of the act. I they want to show how how dedicated I am. That even with it right there, I don't. I won't eat it. And I'll do and anything. Nickel, anything helps him, man. Just toss it right to him. I mean, just, I, any I coin. Honestly, I don't know. He'll take anything. That's He'll it. take anything. I'll just throw no from food. The He'll He'll take take or, He's naked no. after all. Well, maybe not. Pocket He'll take anything, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, step right up. Have your weight made. Right. Yes. Weight made, ladies and gentlemen. If you want to talk, I'm, I'm here. I'm pretty lonely. I get kind of lonely over here. Okay. okay. Well, good luck. Thank you. Hello. Hi. How are you all this evening? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing quite well. Why, well, thank you. I embroidered all this on myself. Lots of embellishments. <laughs> <laughs> we have some fantastic little things here. All these pretty little earrings with tassels and feathers and sequins and pretty things like that. We guarantee to land you a bow. <laughs> Unless you already have one. Maybe you can have another one. <laughs> Some delicious popcorn, man. One um, token for popcorn, two tokens for a coat. I think well, for one token, you get three throws. And you knock them down, you get a prize. All right, thank you. Can I try it? Yep. spirit that would help you overcome them. I certainly suggest that you follow your art and follow that job opportunity. Now, does anyone else have any questions for the Granda? No? No pressing issues? Captain Cat. Void set. Oh, goodness. Would you like to pick out? Are you only getting? I'm the rest. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, I sense a very wise person in your life. Perhaps they take on the role of mentor, someone whose advice you you trust beyond all others, though you may not admit that to yourself right now. This person. Perhaps they have guided you down a fruitful path before, and perhaps they have advice on your next journey in life. But that looks good. Oh, on you're me. no fun at all. I know. People tell me that all the time. More pieces for you. <laughs> he didn't want. Did you want to go through, sir? You're not afraid, are you? <laughs> Drinking and driving. <laughs> you can pick past, present, or future. Ooh, past, present, or future. Um, in the future, will I have to take an extra year to finish my master's? <laughs> oh, questions pertaining to knowledge. This is the gorilla girl, and she. I sense that you enjoy working hard. You are someone who takes pride in her work. You don't like to leave things necessarily until the last minute, for you'd rather a clean finish than extra time leading up to it. That'd be an interesting game. Soccer on stills. Oh boy. Be more. Well, you know, you can't give me food, but if you've got, if you've got maybe a, a dime or a penny, I've got a. See that the thing is, I've got the thing is, I've got this. This kid and she's she's real cute, but what's her name? Her name is Lola. Lola? Ella Lola. Really? How old is she now? She's one. One years old? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Maybe you'll see her as part of the show, but uh, mm -hmm. 
we don't have that much to give her. And she's almost as thin as I am. <laughs> well, maybe not almost, but if you've got anything to spare. Are these numbers correct in any way? Oh, you're just too... Of course they're correct. They're correct? <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> really? No. <laughs> <laughs> well, then I'm forced to give you... No, no. Oh, oh, look. And one of these to show your friends about our wonderful production. Oh, okay, I'm so great. jealous that you got one of those. Oh. Can you do I sense a very calming no. energy about you. You have a calming touch on those who meet. Are you good with animals? Not really. Are you sure? Do they? They're all custom made. Do they rile themselves up in your presence? They don't even. No. No. <laughs> Not that you've noticed. Exactly. Oh. Oh. You are someone others trusted. And you worked, you worked with large amounts of people. That calming energy that I sense right now, you certainly put it to use. And it is filtered through to your presence. Oh, what a lucky man you are. And those around you as well, for that energy. It's rare, and especially in such abundance. Oh. How lucky I am to have read your, your energy tonight. Now, can the two of you promise LeBron something? Can each of you take one of these cards and bring it forward when I call for it? Endurance of an ox, courage of a lion, strength of a horse. Please, ladies and gentlemen, you do not want to miss this. He is absolutely incredible. Watch as he lifts a weight that would crush most mere mortals. Around here we call him Major Muscle, but you can just call him Sir. And you, sir, you seem like a strong young fellow. Are you currently under a doctor's care? No. Are you currently intoxicated? No. Are you currently harboring injuries of the back, neck, arm, leg, knee, or are you currently pregnant? No. Well, then would you, kind sir, please attempt to lift this weight with but a single arm? Perhaps two arms. Ah. Uh, this tent weight was designed to withstand the great winds of the great Midwestern plains. You did your best. There's no shame in it, I'm sure. Yes, Major Muscle, this weight, it takes three healthy men to lift it from a dead sop, folks. But tonight and tonight only, you will see Major Muscle, the one, the only, lift this weight, not just to his knees, not just to his hips, not only to his chest, but above his head, ladies and gentlemen. Can we get a round of applause for the one, the only, Major Muscle? <laughs> ladies, you can purchase a memento of this magnificent, magnificent feat here today. Yes, here today, for the low price of one dollar. A photo of the one, the only, Major Muscle, right this way. Please, follow me, right this way. Right this way, please, don't feed the animals. Would you like to try, sir? All right, let's go for it. All right, one token. All right. Here's how it's going to work. I'm going to write two numbers on this pad of paper. The top okay. one will represent your weight, and the bottom one your age. Simple enough. Now, I have to be within one year or two pounds of your weight or of your age. And your age? <laughs> Very hard, very hard. <laughs> you seem like a very young man. Yes. Thank you. You're very kind. And all these numbers correct, sir. You are very, very close. <laughs> very close. So, but I've got you on age. You you're, got me on right age. On In that case, you win one of our programs, and why not? We'll give you a beautiful oh, purple really? mustache. <laughs> there you are. Marvelous. Awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you for stopping. <laughs> Wonderful. Shall I be happy? Happy 
happiness is the hardest to predict, but I sense an overwhelming amount of love in your life. This is true. You are surrounded by people who care for you among all other things. You are someone who inspires a smile in all that you meet. Is that true? Do you have a nickel or a penny, perhaps, to throw at his feet? Oh, He's already made me feel like a star tonight. Really? That's yeah. That's wonderful. Here you go. Thank you, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, please, once more, step this way. Gather round to see Major Muscle, the man who feels no pain. The man who feels no pain, it's quite impressive. Do you really want to miss this extraordinary figure of manliness eat a coffin nail? I think not. As a preview of our critically successful 10 in 1 show, we will show you why the major is known on the great continents of the world as the man who feels no pain. No herd is great enough to distract him. He was born this way, folks, without the ability to feel anything. But he has a heart of gold, for once he almost died trying to rescue a kitten from a burning building. Alas, the kitten lost her tail and the Major lost his home. Shortly after, our illustrious sideshow owner, Captain Cat, took notice of the man and took pity on him, giving him here a home among friends and a place to ply his trade as the man who feels no pain. He's tougher than a coffin na nail, folks. And in fact, you will now see him ingest a coffin nail. Please, do not try this at home. It is very Magnificent specimen here today, yes, here today, for the low price of one dollar at the photo booth just around the corner. But first, may I introduce to you Dr. Macabre, a once famous, now infamous doctor whose experiments are noted for their unique effect on the human condition. Doctor, what do you have there? This is a Tesla torture, an electronical device invented by the great Nikolai Tesla for the remote herding of cattle. It operates on the same principle as a wireless radio. For those of you who have heard of such a device, one blast from this device would stun the average man, but it barely tickles our major muscle here. But don't take our word for it. Let's try it on a volunteer such as Whitesack. Yes, Whitesack. <laughs> Sir, would you care <laughs> to have this device tested on you? No. Are you sure? <laughs> No, I just was... I... Sir, would you deny these fine people the chance to see such a device tested on a human being? No, listen. Just... <laughs> He's fine. But you see the awesome power of the Tesla torture! You have to come inside to see if our mighty major muscle here will withstand its awesome power. Or will he crumple like poor Witsack here? You'll have to find out on the inside. Thank you very much, Doctor. <laughs> and oh, ladies and gentlemen, what do we have here? This is Anders, the legendary Morphodite him herself. A cruel trick of nature, God's gift to the never-ending battle of the sexes. Anders, half man, half woman, all wonder, but which half is which? Let's ask him. I mean her. I mean them. Anders, tell us who really wears the pants in your household. Well, of course I do. You see, the little lady, she minds the cooking and cleaning, and of course, she minds me. Oh, nonsense. 
everyone out there who's married knows that he wears the pants outside the house, but I wear them at home. Right, ladies? <laughs> <laughs> and of course, the woman gets the last word, or will the man? You'll see on the inside where you will see much more of Anders, for he is a world-renowned knife thrower and saber specialist. Thank you, Anders. Ladies and gentlemen, do not forget that you can purchase mementos of both these incredible people here today. Yes, here today at the ticket booth, just around the corner, right this way. If you would care to follow me, I can show you where it is. <laughs> She's been called the fairest flower of the Far East. And right here on this table are some of our lovely accessories. Please consider buying one, as all the proceeds go to our side shows, traveling expenses. Tell us, Marie, will these help the ladies land a man? Well, they should, but if it doesn't, I have a few secrets the ladies can pick up on the inside, or perhaps a gallant fellow like this would like to buy one of them for his girl. They do make wonderful gifts. The ladies will be oh so grateful, sir. Mm. Well, you'll also get to see Marie's world-famous Beauty and the Blade box and her deathly escape, all on the inside. Actually, she needs to get back there now. Thank you, Marie. Thank you so much. La Granda has been handing out. La Granda, the most powerful psychic in the world. La Granda, advisor to the crown heads of Europe. La Granda, she sees things others do not. She speaks to the dead, the living, and the spirits in between. And here she comes, ladies and gentlemen, La Granda. She gave some of you special cards this evening. Will those of you with those very special cards please come forward now? Right here in this area is perfect. Have you got your ticket, sir? If so, then on the inside you'll see more of the lovely, limber, luscious Marie, a seductress supreme, toast to the crowned heads of Europe. But can she avoid death by blade in the world famous blade box of death, an act which stumped even the master magician and escape artist, Harry Houdini? Have you got your ticket, madam? If so, then on the inside, you'll see more of the man we call Major Muscle. The man all women want, and all men want, to avoid. <laughs> and now our ten and one is about to begin. Who has the first card? Oh. <laughs> we read my card first. Well, this I'm is sorry certainly to... unusual, Wojciech. I just have to, I have to get back to work. I want to know what I'm going to do. All right. It's, it'll just be a second. Sorry. Yeah. The card is death. Oh, death. But it does not always mean the end. It could mean a change in jobs, a change in acts. Oh, perhaps a new proprietor of our sword box of death. <laughs> Marie's in there. And where would you like this card placed tonight, sir? Death comes at the end. All right. right. What? No, I, no, he's gonna die. Come back! Nothing but peas for three months, ladies and gentlemen. That's what you get. <laughs> well, we will hold death at the end for void sex. Card. And who's next? Oh, thank you, sir. The world. We all want to know the secrets of the world, but only one among us knows them. La Granda, are you prepared to hear her darkest secrets? And where would you like this card placed tonight, sir? Um, how about knife? Excellent. 
the world. Ladies and gentlemen, the world will be seen ninth tonight. And who is brave enough to come forward? Oh. Why, thank you, madam. Please take a spot right there. The Emperor, oh, in our show, it represents Captain Cat, born with hair all over his face and body because a lion scared his mother in the jungles of Katmandu. <laughs> Captain Cat. Once a great warrior, he received the greatest military honor in the Dutch East Indies. The Grand Montebank himself named it after Captain Cat, the Emperor of the Catman. Oh, and where would you like this card placed tonight, madam? Number two. Excellent. Thank you. The Emperor. Ladies and gentlemen, the Emperor will be seen second tonight. And who is next? Thank you, madam. Please step right here. Oh, the lovers. Every sideshow has a love story. Ours is Captain Cat and La Granda. Stop it. <laughs> or will you, madam, find love with Major Muscle? Oh, or you, sir, with the lovely Marie? Find out only on the inside. And where would you like this card placed tonight, madam? Number one. Thank you so much. The lovers. Ladies and gentlemen, the lovers will be seen first tonight. Mm, don't be shy. Who's next? <laughs> oh. The chariot. My goodness. Notice how the rider on the chariot is pulled in two directions, much like our own Anders. Is he a woman? Or is she a man? Find out on the inside where his knife act will send a shiver down your spine and have you running for your own chariot. And where shall we place this card tonight, sir? Excellent. Thank you so much. The chariot. Ladies and gentlemen, the chariot will be seen eighth tonight. And who is next? Step four. Why, thank you, madam. Oh, the hanged man. Hanging up there like a fly caught in a spider's web. The hanged man. In our show, it represents Dr. Macabre. Once a legitimate doctor in the Great War, he had his medical license revoked for his chilling experiments. Oh, you've heard his name whispered in saloons and alleyways. Dr. Macabre. His experiments will have you shaking in your boots. And where would you like this card placed tonight, madam? Five. Excellent. Thank you. The Hanged Man. Ladies and gentlemen, the Hanged Man will be seen fifth tonight. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Oh, thank you. The Tower. <gasps> Holding place of princesses, peril, and secrets. Will Marie escape her own tower, the blade box of death? Find out only on the inside. And where would you like this card placed? Fourth. Excellent. Thank you. The tower. Ladies and gentlemen, the tower will be seen fourth tonight. And who is next? Fantastic. Strength. Oh, see the strength of major muscle. He has enough of it to outfit 10 men. See what he can do with a body developed to perfection, only on the inside. Oh, and where would you like this card placed tonight? Third, please. Excellent, thank you. Strength. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, strength will be seen third tonight. So few cards remain, who's next? Why, well, thank you. Oh, temperance. Temperance is the art of moderation in all things. And really, what could be more moderate than our sideshow? <laughs> Find out on the inside where there is certainly something for everybody. And where would you like this card placed tonight, madam? Uh, sixth. Excellent. Thank you. Temperance. Ladies and gentlemen, temperance will be seen sixth tonight. Oh, 
Don't be shy, sir. <laughs> right this way. Oh, the fool. The fool is the card, and a fool you shall see. In fact, you may have already seen him. Wojtek, our very own hunger artist, eaten nothing but peas for three months. Will you have the stomach to withstand his act? Because we all know that he doesn't. <laughs> and where shall we place this card tonight, sir? Seven. Excellent. Thank you. The fool. Ladies and gentlemen, the fool will be seen seventh tonight. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen, the order of our show. In the first position, we have the Wheel of Fortune, which is what you see before you. Around and around and around we go. Number one, we have the lovers. Two is the emperor. Three is strength. Four is the tower. The fifth scene will be the hanged man. The sixth is temperance. The seventh is the fool. Eight is the chariot. Nine is the world, and ten is death, ladies and gentlemen, because death always comes at the end, now doesn't it? And there it is, folks, our ten in one, ten scenes, one admission. There are seven wonders of the ancient world, seven wonders of the modern world, and seven wonders to our sideshow. And the first, Gorilla Girl. Get your tickets out, ladies and gentlemen. They will be taken on your way in. You have all heard the rumors that Dr. Macabre has traveled the wide world looking for human oddities of all kinds. The Malay mermaid, beauty queen of Atlantis, and the Javanese giant. But on his last trip to the Congo, he discovered a gorilla whose origins unknown led him to believe that she was once a girl, like you or me. After consulting local witch doctors and shamans, he devised a potion which allows her to live part of the day as a girl, but the rest she must remain a gorilla. Yes, thanks to our marvel of modern medicine, Dr. Macabre, she can be seen here today, the one, the only gorilla girl, but our special safety cage only holds 20 people. So please be patient and ignore the screams. And if you would now step right this way, I will take your tickets and let you in to see Gorilla Girl. Our safety cage can only hold 20 people at a time. Keep that in mind. Don't push, don't shove. We will be having another show momentarily. She is very dangerous, and the last time she escaped, it took the might of Major Muscle and 10 men to bring her back. So please, step this way and mind your hands, feet, and valuables. Right this way, much. folks, right Thank this you. way. Thank you. Pleased to make your acquaintance, I am Dr. Macabre. Yes, right this way. Shorter people to the front, taller people to the back. You do not want to miss what is about to transpire. Yes, yeah, step forward, folks. Step forward, please. I am Dr. Macabre. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Right this way, folks. Right this way. We could have the shortest people to the front, tallest to the rear. You do not want to miss what is about to transpire. Yes, folks. Step forward, please. Step forward. Sir, please do not cross this line. For the sideshow cannot be held legally responsible for those who become entangled with the Gorilla Girl. Please, folks. Yes, I know this looks bad, but if not for those chains, this lovely young lady would tear most of us limb from limb. Oh, she'd like to lead a normal life, but she cannot. But for the transformation you're about to see. I found the gorilla girl in the deepest reaches of the darkest Congo. She was just a gorilla then, but with the habits, personality, and desires of a human girl. Perhaps she's the result of a scientific experiment gone wrong. Or perhaps she was abandoned by missionaries, left to be raised by the gorilla tribes. This we may never know. What we do know is this. She spends the evenings as a girl, and the daytimes as a gorilla. We'd like to be able to tell you her name, but we must conceal her true identity. Or else the authorities would arrest her upon sight. So please, do not tell your local sheriff what you're about to see. And if you could step back just a couple of feet, folks. Because if my watch is correct, the sun is rising in the Congo at this very instant. Yes, and the transformation begins. Yes, yes, look at her now. 500 pounds of pure muscle. Those chains were made to hold the mighty bulls of Pompelona. But please do not injure her, for she's been known to break them when enraged. Yes, and she's getting angry now. Please go step back. She might break those chains. Back up! Can I get some assistance, please? I'm gonna have to use the test of torture! That was close. 
We're gonna have to have those chains fixed. But please, folks, if you'd step this way as we attend to the Gorilla Girl's needs. Please, folks, right this way. This horse, the poor creature that it is, was endowed by the... On the blistering plains of the Serengeti, this poor horse was burned beyond all recognition so that no human eyes may look upon it without driving the viewer immediately mad. Do not look upon this horse. Now, who amongst you is brave enough to demonstrate the unique power of this brilliant astronomical horse? Hmm? Yeah, sure. You, sir. <laughs> would you be so kind as upon this page to write the month of your birth? Write it large so that all may see, but do not allow me to see. Thank you. Can we all see what is upon the page? Yes. Do we all see what is here? I want you to hold this thought in your minds. Try, just try to keep it from this astronomical horse. <laughs> astronomical horse. I call to you from the depths of Uranus to tell us what is upon this page and in these people's minds. Speak, horse, speak! <laughs> horse speaks. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven beats with its accursed hooves. Were you born in July, sir? I was. That's, it's July written upon this page. Indeed it is. And you see the horse speaks again. <laughs> it cannot be fouled. Please come forward, ladies and gentlemen, and enjoy our main spectacle. Our 10 and one will begin shortly. Please step forward into our main tent. But be careful. Do not try to gaze upon the horse. Many have tried and woe is to them. Ladies and gentlemen, May I have your attention, please? I am told that it is time to begin. You chose to come tonight, and we thank you. You chose the order of the show in which you're about to see, and we guarantee the most unbelievable 10 in 1 you'll see this side of the Mississippi. We promise you, our lovely patrons, the most Unbelievable show you will see tonight or any night, for it is, as advertised, never the same show twice. Thank you and enjoy. show. Look, Mama will be on soon. It's time for sleep now, baby. Hmm? Ladies and gentlemen, you saw him out front. Gentlemen, hold your ladies tight, for they are swoon when they see him face Dr. Macabre and his terrifying Tesla torture device. I give you the man who feels no pain, Major Muscle! Go! You're gonna be on soon. Give me that baby. <laughs> He's quite a man, isn't he? You know, they say he's built like an oak tree. Mm. <laughs> More like a lot. Oh, why, Marie, your eyes are popping out of your head. Well, so's your tongue when the captain is around. <gasps> and who does your mother think she is talking to me like that? Oh, with her bastard baby and no ring. <laughs> you know, they say that you can still stare your way through seven pairs of pants. <laughs> well. Let them talk about us, hmm? They'll all call you a little whore, baby. But your beautiful face could make even an old hag smile. 
<laughs> You'll have something to cry about soon enough. Oh, you old bitch. <laughs> Can't. I'm late as it is. Uh, are you on another bread? Another? I haven't had one in a few days. You look so wild. What, what happened? There was something out in the boneyard. Something strange. Uh huh. It's dangerous. What was it the preacher said? Then I heard, as it were, the voice of thunder. One of the four beasts say, come and see. And I saw and beheld a white horse. No, Franz, Franz. It followed me all the way to town. It knows how old I am. It knows everything about me. It, it, it's not after you. It is just an act. Honey, it is just the astronomical pause. I still have gotten paid. Here, I, I set this aside for a rainy day. It's for you two now. I gotta go. Well, Franz, for, for the love of God. He's so haunted by everything. He didn't even look at his child. All that starving's mushed his mind up like jelly. Mm -hmm. He'll crack one of these days. Oh, another hand for Major Muscle and Dr. McCall. Why so quiet, baby? Hmm? What's got you all scared? It's dark now. It's all dark. It's just shadows gathering. Like the dead. Hush, little baby, don't say a word. Papa's gonna buy you a mockingbird. Gentlemen, I give you the sword swallow extraordinaire, the woman who could swallow the contents of an entire bicycle in one sitting, Zoralina and her scimitars of steel. Oh, slow down, Wojtzeck, hmm? You go too fast. Slow. Yes. Making my head spin. What am I supposed to do with the extra ten minutes you saved by rushing, hmm? Think. You have thirty years left to live. It's three hundred and sixty months. Well, that's over ten thousand days. That's over fifteen million minutes. What are you going to do with such an overwhelming amount of time, hmm? Pace yourself. Yes, boss. When I think of all that time, how it never ends, I'll tell you straight, I get scared. That's why manners keep busy. Busy hands are happy hands. When you think about it, though, time's not really endless at all, is it? It's just a heartbeat when you really think about it. Did you know that they say the entire Earth turns around one time in just one day? One day! I mean, what a waste of time. It spins and spins another day into another day into another day. Days spinning into days, spinning into days. I tell you, 
I can't look at a spinning wheel now without feeling lost and low. Yes, boss. It's all right here, you know. Right in this box. What we all want, what we all kill and die for, what we love, but doesn't love us. Tell me, Boyd say, would you kill for what's in this box? Hmm? It's like you're an idiot. I just offered you the world and you couldn't muster a peep. A man doesn't act like that. Don't you have a child to think about? A man would have taken that offer for his child at the least. I mean the hell with pride. A man knows right from wrong. Well, what do you have to say to that, hmm? Well, say something. How's the weather? Uh, yes, boss. I Hi, Mina. It's windy, sir. There's a bad wind. Bad wind is right. I can smell it. I can hear it, too. Sounds like thunder and it makes me sick. The wind outside must be north southerly, am I right? Yes, sir. Uh, north southerly. I was, I was about to say that, sir. Ah. Uh. Void's like you're dumber than a bag full of hammers, you know that? But what's worse is you have nothing in here. You have no beliefs. You have no compass. You have no morals. And you have a child without a proper marriage. You should marry that, Marie. Get that child of yours baptized, hmm? Sir. God doesn't care if no one baptizes a little worm when it's born. God himself said, suffer the little children to come unto me. What kind of crap is that, huh? You know, I could curse God for making me this way too, but I don't. No, I thank him. I thank him every day for every scrape, every foul. It's made me the man I am. I'm talking about being poor, sir. Money. Scratch? If you got no scratch, sir, you've got nothing. Scratch is God. You can't put a man into this world with just morals. I'm flesh and blood, but whether it's in this world or the next, poor is poor. And if I ever do get into heaven, they'd have me go straight to work on making thunder. Oh, there it is again, you see. You have no self-respect. You have no dignity. You have no virtue. For me. You know, sometimes I take a rest by the window after it rains. And I'll see a young girl in bright, clean, white stockings just gliding past. Damn, it makes me hot. I feel it in my loins. My loins, Void said. Yes, I'm flesh and blood too. But it's my virtue. My virtue that keeps me from going out there and throwing myself onto that girl. I have to say, you're a virtuous man, Cap. You're a good man. You're a good man. Oh, yes. Virtue. No, I haven't got that. No, sir. People like me, we just have what God gave us. But if I had a warm coat and a pocket watch and could talk like an educated man, 
I'd be virtuous, like anyone else. Virtue's just great. But I'm a poor man, and I can't afford it. I'm just a poor good-for-nothing. Poor Voidsack. Good Voidsack. You are a good man, you are, hmm? You just think too much. It eats at you. It wears you down. When's the last time you had a proper meal, huh? Oh, yes. That thing you do. Sorry. Anyhow, you must take better care of yourself. Hmm? Our little talk has upset me. Get out! But slowly, Voidsek. Slowly down the street. Ladies and gentlemen, step right up, step right up and witness the hair-raising feats of Anders, half man, half woman, and his daggers of death. Do we have a volunteer from the audience, preferably no children or married women? You, sir. Yes, if you would be so kind, please step up to the board and prepare to be amazed. Tomorrow, sir? Ask me tomorrow. Slow night tonight, but I'm done. So, bottoms up. This shit'll kill you. You would know. Yes, I would. Because I made it myself. I learned how in the war. And I made a fortune on it during Prohibition. So you're just here on vacation? Nah. The fall took my last dime. Boo hoo! Taste? Hey, helps with the pain. You would know. Yes, I would. Hey, I said a taste, not a belly full. Did anyone ever tell you not to drink before the act? Anybody ever tell you to shut the hell up? Major, get your gear. You're on the few. Yeah, I'll be there. Hey, when can I take over the blade box? <laughs> when you learn it cold and sober up. Now get your gear. You're on the few. Yeah, I'll be there. 
You know, you should never drink before the act. Shut your mouth. I wasn't talking to you, I was just talking- And who do you think you're talking to? Do you know who I am? If you're not Christ on the cross himself, you'd better shut your mouth. Oh, you're a wise guy, huh? How'd that tougher fox than you? I know what you need. You don't need a beating. You need a good meal. Here, eat this, you skinny little shit. Eat it. And here, have some of the docks rock up moonshine to wash it down. I thought you wanted me to shut my mouth! Interesting. <laughs> it's not one thing. It's one thing after another. Major! You're up. In a minute. Ladies and gentlemen, you saw it here. If that didn't raise every last hair on your head, then you're bald. <laughs> Anders, ladies and gentlemen, a big hand! and her deadly python. Ladies, please do not attempt to distract the snake. I give you Haji Baba Ali! And so, ladies and gentlemen, now the experts have proven that this is, in fact, a real sword. Capable of cutting through layers of flesh, I shall insert it into this box. This box in which inside is this woman. This woman who risks her life nightly and lives day to day from the proceeds of your generosity. And should she survive. Hey, uh, hold it up there above your head again. You're getting me excited. Let me finish it. <laughs> and should she survive this dangerous act, you, yes, you will get the opportunity to see her ravaged body in its natural state for a small fee. And you give me the dress as I slip in the sword. trying to get the rhythm of the act. Rhythm? Hmm. Show me what you mean. Just give me the dress. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, see the man who feels no pain. Endurance of an ox, courage of a lion. Hung like a horse? Hmm. 
Gentlemen, keep a hold of those little ladies' hands. They have a natural tendency to wander to his side. Ladies, be forewarned. You may be compelled to leave your husbands. You're a real card. But I'm done with that act. I've made a deal with the captain. I'm learning this act now. So, the dress. Did women really leave their husbands for you? Is that why you don't want to play the man who feels no pain anymore? Too many pained husbands. <laughs> Too many satisfied wives, huh? Did they satisfy you too? Too many pains in my ass. <laughs> but yeah, I've had a lot of satisfied customers. So have you from what I've seen? Is that fool still hanging on you? What's his name? Foytset. What does he do around here? This and that. Lately he's a hunger artist. The human skeleton. He starts for a living. <laughs> Who does it in this chicken outfit? <laughs> he's a good man. But he's not you. No one is. Does he, uh, know you talk to other men like this? I don't talk to other men. Just you. That's not what I've heard. The dress. I can't find it. Maybe you should come here and help me. Is it? No, that's me. <coughs> Is this it? Wrong. It's me again. Little lower. Yeah. So you've got that kid. So what? He's watching us. Someone is. I'm right here. I can give you a whole lot of babies. Whole ten in one. Hey, your, your breast needs some booze. Hey, have, have you been drinking? Hey, stop, stop. Come on, you're an animal. They all talk about how you like it. Hey, hey, get, you, get your hands off me. Your mouth says no, but your eyes. Oh, my! No, they're the devils. You've had him too, haven't you? You all want the strong man. Not the man. You are like all the rest. <gasps> the dress. Don't ever drink before the act. The captain will have you out on your ear. What's it matter? It's all the same. And another round of applause for Haji Baba Ali and her deadly python. And now, ladies and gentlemen, 
the lost princess of the 1001 Arabian Nights, with her delicious dance of the seven veils that she's performed from the harems of sultans and sheiks in northern Africa, to limited engagements for the emperors and crowned heads of Europe, I give you that mysterious mistress of mirth, Marie! You bet too fast. You're trying to bluff. You may be wrong. Then again, you may be wrong. So, you were sort of a real doctor once, right? Sort of. So tell me, Doc, it hurts when I do this. Well, don't do that, then. That'll be a deuce. Or the advice. I'll take the rest of those when you fold. Seriously, though, I keep getting panicked whenever I see my coat just hanging on a wall. Relax. Your ticker's like a trip hammer. So what do you think I got? Pair of eights, probably. Johnny's high. Very funny. You have to pony up more than that to find out. I mean, am I sick? Yeah. But you'll live. Keep this up and you can have a stroke, though. Seriously? Yeah, <laughs> but it's good. You'll be half paralyzed, and we'll put you in the act. It's getting interesting now, isn't it? Only if you're sick of working for peanuts. Oh, I'm so scared. People die from fright, you know. Pure fright. I've seen it on the midway. Some mark buys it when the snake charmer gets a little too sharp with the python. You think they've only fainted, but they're meat before they hit the straw. Buried a few myself in the potato fields a ways back. Don't want the bulls finding a cold townie. That's bad for business. So's cheating. So is talking out of your hat. I've got nothing up my sleeves. They call this one Mr. Manifold. I've got nothing up my sleeves, see? Hmm? They call this one Mr. Hollow head. Nothing in my hat. See? I raise. I call. It's your money. Oh, it will be. And yours will be buying me a nice hot meal. Ca Captain. Sir. Could you pay me, sir? He doesn't have much to pay you with. Not a peanut to piss on. Coming from Mr. Holes in his pockets. Well, someone's got to win. Are you trying to tell us how to play? Hmm? Hmm? Or maybe you want in on the action. Let's make it interesting. I'll put up your salary for the week as a side bet. I'll even double it, if you can correctly guess who has the smart cards. Bear in mind that's double or nothing, though. If you lose, you get nothing. I'll do you one better. Whatever he owes you, I'll triple it if I win. And think about it. Even if I lose, I'm still your best bet, Wojtzek. Wait, so if I bet on him... Wojtzek, you get... cut through the world like a knife through butter, but you don't ever get anywhere. Do you know why? I know why. I know why. I know why. Why? Hmm? Because I... Because I don't believe in anything. That's it exactly, Wojtzek. You don't believe in yourself. And you have to believe in the cards you've been dealt, but you don't. That's why you don't ever get anywhere. You have to play the cards you're dealt. But I'm not playing. I don't have any cards, sir. So who is it, Wojtzek? Who wins? No, I couldn't guess. I'll just wait here. I'm just here to get paid. I'll guess! 
I'm getting hungry. You want some peas? Voitsek likes peas? Don't you, Voitsek? Hunger's not so bad, sir. I mean, the first few days it is, but after a while you just don't have to think about it anymore. Do you want a new mouth to eat your peas with? Hmm? Hmm? Okay. Sure. I think you have all the cards, sir. They're good ones. Come here, Boitzek. Come here. Your pulse is erratic. Is that because your girl's been screwing that blockhead? I don't know what you mean. You're a terrible liar. You got no poker face. Neither do you. Show him. Twin King! Trip deuces. Sorry, Voitsek. Maybe you'll get your nuts next week. I'll take whatever. Don't I me. What were you gonna do? Eat your pay? What about our little deal? Nobody wants to see a fat hunger artist. Okay, I wasn't going to eat it. It's just that my wife is Oh, she's good. not your wife. For Christ's sake. She's just the mother of your child. Don't get confused about that. She's just a slut. Let him speak. I want to hear what he has to say. Go on, Boitzek. She's a good girl, sir. I see her and she's kind. Always. It's kindness, sir. The men, they, they give her much. It's not much. Are you cold? I'm cold. No, it's, it's the baby that needs that money, not her. Oh, babies need mothers, Wojciech, not money. Get that kid a mother, a real one. That's what you can do for it, hmm? You're freezing. It's cold as hell in your sir. That bitch! It's cold in hell. It's cold in here. Am I hot? I'm hot. You haven't been eating at all, have you? Good, Voitsek, good. I'll give you a raise next week, a little something extra. Keep starving yourself, and they'll flock to see you. Nothing plus nothing is nothing. And she has a whole plate of nothing when I see her, and it's just for me. You might as well give me the sky. The pale gray sky. I just want to put a, put a nail up there and hang myself from it. And from there, you can see the dash between yes and yes again. Did no make yes, sir, or did yes make yes? I'll have to think about that. Are you hot? I'm hot. Hotly cold. Go get a coat, then. And don't touch those. Your hands are filthy. Yes, sirs. I'm sorry, sirs. Good night, sirs. delicious dance of the seven veils. So, where'd you get the spare deuce, huh? <laughs> Caught that, did you? Yeah. Same place as your funny king. Came to the game with me. I always keep one handy. Never know when it'll need to join the hand. Who's buying? Watch that. You'll catch on. He doesn't even know his own name. I'll do it again, and he'll apologize again. Are we gonna eat or what? 
Smells like steak night. I am starving. Starving? Who do you think you are, huh? Voitsek? <laughs> Dead meat. <laughs> Anders? What? What? She was with him. I saw them. Who? Marie and the Major. It's just a dream. Get some rest. What do women want? They want sleep. You must know. You know their secrets. Have a drink and go back to sleep. I don't feel any pain. He's just an attraction. He can't do anything. Sleep. What does she want? What does she see in him? Leave it alone, Voitsek. When you throw knives, have you ever hurt anyone? I could never throw knives, because I'd be afraid to hurt someone. But if he was against the wall, I could throw a knife at him, and it wouldn't hurt because he doesn't feel anything. He can't be hurt. He just hurts people. Why would anyone want to be with him? Why would she want to Do be with him? Do you want to know? Do you really want to know? Look, he's just there. He's just convenient. She doesn't love him. She doesn't care about him. He's just a soft touch. He's warm at night to sleep against. And she doesn't have many choices left. Okay? Now can I get some rest? Thanks, Anders. I'm sorry, Anders. It's all right, Voitsek. Now, good night. <sighs> I'm warm at night. Oh, for the love of Pete. I love our child. We have a child, don't we? Do we? Who am I? Jesus, 
You don't need a drink. You need a good meal. I'm Jesus. When's the last time you ate? I can't eat. The less I eat, the more money I make. You can't spend that from a pine box. Pine box? That's rich. Look, Wojtek. We have a late show in a little while. And I need my beauty rest. You know? And you? You need to stop thinking so much. All right? Thanks, Anders. Sorry, Anders. Don't mention it. Don't say anything, as a matter of fact. Just sit there and be quiet. Read a book if you can't sleep. Now, good night. What did you what did you say? Was I dreaming? Was she mine? Who? Died. She died. Wants to die. No. No, I can't. No. Not me. No. 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 and gentlemen, you saw him out front, but with the help of Dr. Macabre, you'll see the living skeleton up close and personal. The hunger artist that defies belief, Wojtsek! Step lively. See the hunger artist. See the man who's eaten nothing but peas for three whole months. He sees things no one else sees. He hears things only dogs can hear. And he says things only a fool would say. You've paid your money now. See the hunger artist starving before you. He may not make it through the day. He may not make it through the hour. Doc, I gotta go. They put me. No, I mean go to the honey pot. Sir. Please. Here, go in the box. Watch, I'll make these stupid Larrys pay to smell it. In front of all these people? I said go. When did you get so goddamn delicate? 
Yes, folks, here he is, my patient of two years and a rare specimen indeed. His strength almost completely gone. He can barely hold his water. And for a special treat, you'll see his bodily fluids deeply affected by his dedication to scientific study. Who amongst you could eat only peas for so long? This man's mind is a steel trap, even diminished. He can think faster than most of the scholars in the mysterious Orient. Wojtek, who was the tutor of Alexander the Great? Aristotle. See, a genius. And his diet, nothing but peas. You can buy these same peas as you exit the show. Give them to your children or plant them tonight. But don't be surprised if you wake up tomorrow to find a beanstalk growing in your backyard. Magical peas, scientific peas, bread to bring all a body needs. Here's proof. He'll name all the world leaders for you and their children, just as he did for the Duke and Duchess of Denmark. But first, and he did not do this for those crowned heads, I assure you, but first, he will urinate for your satisfaction. I'm sorry. There's too many people. I need to be alone when nature calls. Nature? Do you hear this idiot, ladies and gentlemen? Nature? Free will is stronger than nature. Mankind is free, ladies and gentlemen. We are a free people living in a free country, working to make a free world. Nature? No, we are the determiners in our world. But do you see me getting upset now? And I control my nature like this. I calm myself. I calm myself, I calm myself, and I am in control of my nature again. Man has control, complete control. My pulse isn't even 60. Here, feel it. But this fool's pulse, it's erratic. 90 beats a minute, and he's just standing here. His pulse is weak because he lost his heart to a whore. He thinks nature controls him, but like a dog in the street, he can only starve or bark for his food. Bark, fool, bark. Woof, woof. Now for the last time, piss for these good people. I can't. I just can't. And so you see, good people, the radical effects of diet on this poor mentally deficient fool. Once a great thinker, now he can't even summon the wheel to wet his own pants. Oh, good, good. Show him you care. The last town threw food. That's just cruel. But if you throw money, he may yet live another day. Just to see an egg frying in the pan when the sun rises. Thank you. My daughter thanks you for this. I'll buy her an egg, or maybe a chicken. Which came first, before the egg rose or the sun was hatched? Aha, he's philosophizing. Which came first, fool, that chicken or the egg? I knew whichever came through the door first, Doc. Mm. If a tree fell in the forest and there's no one there to hear it, does it make a sound? If there was one? Interesting. What day is it, hmm? Is it yesterday or tomorrow? Is it the day before yesterday? <laughs> yes, it is, Wojtsek. And what happened the day before yesterday? The sun stopped at noon. Fire in the sky. Whoop! Whoop! Wonderful, wonderful. Ladies and gentlemen, you're lucky indeed. He's having an attack, a rare delusions aspectosis. Well, but our time is up, so if you wish to see more, you'll have to come through again. These attacks usually last a few minutes, so if you wish to see the full effects of the moon on this poor fool, rush out and come right back in. You know, it's, uh, it's today. Today is today. The sun is shining. I'm okay. I'm okay. Shut up! He's still seeing things. It's evening and he sees the sun. Oh, let them stay. Are we out of time already? I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. This may last all afternoon. So tell your friends. He may piss blood. 
And don't forget to buy those peas. The peas. The peas. Peas parched hot. Peas parched cold. Peas piping clean. Peas parched cold. What the hell is wrong with you? We had them. I need more money, sir. You need a swift kick in the ass. God. Did you say something? You want some meat? You need a real meal? I'll send for it. You can't. Only peas. He's putting that thing inside of her. Save it for the rubes. They'll be back in five. So get your head on straight. Comes off at night and rolls down the path like a pea. Keep the barking, though. They like that. And the chicken through the door bit. That's so. Yeah, I heard barking too. The chickens don't bark, do they? What? Uh, she loves him. Well, she lets him, she must love him. Yeah, yeah, whatever you say. I gotta take a leak. Don't worry. I'll tell them it's yours. You'll still get your cut. Call me if they come back. You know, uh, you know the sound is cursed, don't you, Anders? Look over there, at that patch of dirt where the toadstools are. That's where they plant the bottomless heads, each and every night. One time some roof thought one head was a hedgehog and, and picked it up. Three days and three nights passed. And that roof ended up in a pine box, six feet below. You want to know who it was they said that did it? Masons. Three little babies lying in the bed. Two were sick and the others near dead. Listen. Can you hear it, Anders? Can you hear it? Something's moving. Call up the doctor and the doctor said... Yeah, Doc said peas, only eat the peas. What? It's moving. Behind me. Under me. Listen, it's hollow. It's all hollow under there. It's the Masons. They're everywhere. They have power over everything. 
Oh, I know, Void Sack. It's scary. Strange and still. The lights over the town are so bright. Look! The sky's on fire! There's a storm of trumpets! Can't you hear it? A chariot is, is drawing the sun across the sky, led by horses. It's coming for us. We're gonna look behind you. Wait a sec. Can you still hear it? Silence. Your silence. Like the world just died. It all dies. Then babes on short lady bread. You bought your tickets, and you paid the price. You came to see human extremes and hear true stories that may shock you? Well, the truth is here. And like Pandora, I shall let it out. Once there was a little girl. Oh, but she had no mother. And she had no father. Everyone was dead. There was no one left the whole wide world over. Everyone was dead. She searched far and wide. And she wanted to go to heaven. But the moon looked down on her, and it was a friendly moon. So she went to the moon. But when she arrived, she saw that it was nothing more than a rotten chunk of wood. So she went to the sun. Oh, but when she got to the sun, she saw that it was just a dried up old sunflower. So she quickly went to the stars. Oh, but the stars were just little golden flies stuck up there dead as if they were in a spider's web. And when she wanted to get back to Earth, Earth was just an empty box. So she sat on the box. And she cried. And she sits there until this day. You said you'd read my fortune. 
It's death. Am I going to die? Oh, Wojciech, everyone's dying. But not you. Not yet. Death can mean a new act, a new job, change and renewal. We now play the final card, the card known as death. Are you prepared? Prepare yourself. What are you saying? No, don't stop. Don't stop. Kill the whore dead. I can't. Please. Please, I can't. <laughs> what? She's laughing at me. They're all laughing at me. I'm funny. Is that what they think, that I'm funny? That I'm just a fool? I hear you now. Louder. 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 Killer. Stab her? Must I? Kill the goat bitch dead. What does the wind have to say? Yes. You say so too? What can I do? Shoot her. Stab her. Wojciech, where's Anders? Why? Look, the Major's drunk again. I need Anders to do the blade box with Marie. Can I borrow your gun? What? No! Wake the hell up, huh? I need someone to do the pit. Now where's Anders? He's out in the woods gathering sticks for your fire. Ah, damn it. You'll do it. Do what? The blade box. Look, it's easy. Just let Marie guide you. She knows the act inside and out. You've seen the Major do it with her, right? Right. I've seen the Major do it to her. Look, all you have to do is a little patter, hmm? Tell her she's going to get stabbed and to prepare herself. Then you stick a few swords in the box and we'll do the blow for the extra on the way out. Easy money. Do you have my pay from last week? Or the week before? Quit whining to me about your damn money! I'll pay you when I pay you. First things first. Come on! Let's go! Marie. The Major's not again, is he? He's in no shape to do the bit. I'll deal with him later. Well, well did you find Anders? Look, I can't find him, okay? Boitzik's gonna do it. I'll do it. He, he doesn't know the routine. Oh, for Christ's sake, Pat. Look, we're running out of time, hmm? Just be a peach, help him through it. Give me a break. We can't even talk in front of him. He can hardly stand up and solve it. Is, is he in any shape to be holding a sword? They said I should do it. They said I should do it. Who? Listen, there's no time. Hmm? Oh, Bally. You two go. Come, ladies and gentlemen, step right up, step right up for the show you've all been waiting for. The show you knew was too good to be true. The one, the one, the only, the deadly, the delightful Blade Box. 
Starring the devil girl herself, the temptress Marie. Welcome to the show. I'll stop her for oh, you. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Let, let him do it. But, 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 but who? <laughs> what should I do? Just wait until I tell you I'm ready, okay? And then you put the swords through this last one at a time, but wait until I tell you I'm ready, all right? And then I'll hand you my clothes, one piece at a time. And when you put the last one in, turn the box and collect the money as they come up to see how we did. How did he do it? Did he take your clothes off? Did he love you? Or was he drunk? You're cold. Give me a minute. You're so cold. You're so cold, you're dead. You're dead cold. Stab her. I hear you now. Stab her. Stab her now. Stab her now! There's a rest I can see you! Your beads all around your neck! Did he do it like that? You like that! Like that! What, what have you done? You freak! What have you done? <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, I apologize, but we'll have to take a short break. <laughs> hey, Doc! Can you come in here? <laughs> Please, don't panic. Everything's fine. It's all just part of the act. I assure you, she'll have the best care available. She's gone. We gotta get her out of here. Oh my god. Marie! Shut up! <coughs> you! Marie! Shut up! You handle the bus. You, find Boyd and get him the hell out of here. I'll talk to the crowd. <coughs> Interesting. Fascinating. You find him? He's a head case. We need an act out front or they want their money back. Honors! You left with the body. God damn it! Bring him to the exit. And fast. And do come. what? I don't know. Throw tomatoes at him. Punch him, kick him, pull his hairs out and sell him to the rubes. Just give them an exit. He's been in there for us in the past. No reason to stop now. Yeah, and we still don't have to pay him. I've got it under control. Cover me. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it appears we've had a small accident. But as we told you, these things can be very dangerous. However, everything is just fine. <laughs> Our final act is being prepared, and uh, we'll be taking you there any moment. Uh, but first, how about a big hand, everyone, for our doctor, Dr. McCall, huh? Yes. Oh. And, uh, and how about a hand for our psychic, the Lady Lagranda, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and, uh, while we're waiting... What's happening? Why is everyone so riled up? Major muscle, ladies and gentlemen! Major muscle, huh? <laughs> Cat! Is it over? Shut up. I'll deal with you later. <gasps> Touchy. Jeez. I know. I know. We'll talk later. Right now I need an act out front. Can you throw? I don't know. My hands. <laughs> Do you want me to wash them? No, I mean, yeah, when they leave, but wait one moment. Uh, how about a big hand for our handsome beauty, our own morphodite honors, ladies and gentlemen. Big hand, huh? <laughs> and please, as you make your way to the exits, please, please, take note of our final spectacles. Usually at an additional cost, but tonight only free of charge, huh? The skeleton boy of Pago Pago. The mermaid woman of Java and Rasputin's mummified head. Hmm? 
Thank you. And for your edification, tonight we have a brand new version of an old act. The new, the improved, man who feels no pain. This way, ladies and gentlemen, please, rise and come to our life. Right this way, right this way, ladies and gentlemen. Right this way, the man who feels no pain awaits. See our all new man who feels no pain. Watch as he withstands excruciating amounts of terrible torture. Thank you very much, folks. Thank you. And good evening. Good night. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. See our all new man who feels no pain. Watch as he withstands excruciating amounts of terrible torture. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Tell your friends. Different show every night. Guaranteed. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. You see our all new man who feels no pain. Watch as he withstands excruciating amounts of terrible torture. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you right this way. Good evening. Tell your friends. Thank you very much. Thank you.